side as they run downhill. Carville's Hill on the inside takes it up in the early stages under this big weight, whether uh, Peter Scudamore likes it or not. Carville's Hill goes on from Weenish and Kilbannon and Cool Ground with Aquilifer on the outside, then Escheness and Party Politics and Twin Oaks, and behind them Zeta's Lad and What's the Crack, and the White of the West Awake over on the far side, Kildimo's just the back marker, and Carville's Hill is leading him under top weight and a weight that hasn't been carried a victory in this race for many, many years. He's got a four-length advantage over Weenish on the inside of Kilbannon and Twin Oaks and then Cool Ground and Escheness as they come to the first of the 22 fences in the Coral Welsh National. Carville's Hill lands clear of Aquila for his stable companion who goes second now ahead of Weenish on the inside, then Twin Oaks and Kilbannon and behind them Escheness and over the first ditch, Carville's Hill lands clear of Aquila and they're all safely over the first ditch with making a slight mistake in rear, Mr. Ed coming to the third and jumping the third and all safely over it with Mr. Ed the back marker, Carville's Hill the leader as he comes now to the water, number four. Carville's Hill from Aquilifer and Weenish and Twin Oaks, and behind them Escheness, behind Escheness, cool ground. Then comes Kilbannon and Party Politics, another mistake there by Mr. Ed in rear, and Carville's Hill still bowling along at the fifth in the lead, Carville's Hill. Carville's Hill lands clear of Twin Oaks, who jumps its second. Then in third is Aquilifer. Escheness well up there with Weenish also. And behind them, Kilbannon. Over the sixth, Carville's Hill landed clear of Twin Oaks, who jumped its second. Aquilifer third, and Weenish four and five, Kilbannon. And six, Escheness, as they begin to swing left-handed. And this is a very fast gallop for a distance of three miles six. Can Carville's Hill possibly maintain this pace? He's a long way clear already, and very unusual to see a horse with this weight at this stage of the race so far clear of his rivals, with Twin Oak second and Weenish third, and Aquila for four, and Cool Ground five, and six S&S. As they swing left-handed now into the straight on the first circuit, and Carville's Hill, a long way clear of Twin Oaks, Aquilifer, Weenish on the rails, Kilbannon right up there behind him, and then comes Escheness and party politics. As we see, Carville's Hill come to the seventh of the 22 fences and jump it clear of Twin Oaks. Aquilifer, Kilbannon, Cool Ground, Escheness, and party politics. This is the second of the ditches. And Carville's Hill, clear of Aquilifer and Twin Oaks. Kilbannon, Escheness on the far side, then Party Politics. Over the ninth. Carville, oh, he just met that slightly wrong, but it didn't interrupt his impetus in any way. As he comes down to the fence now, that'll be the second last on the next circuit. Carville's Hill jumps the tenth ahead of Aquilifer and Twin Oaks together with Kilbannon behind them, then Escheness and Party Politics and Weenish, then comes Cool Ground, and then Zeta's Land. Carville's Hill, clear of Twin Oaks, Aquilifer, Kilbannon, Escheness, Party Politics, and then comes uh, Cool Ground. So passing the winning post with another full circuit in the Welsh Coral National. It's Carville's Hill, they're all standing. Twin Oaks second and Aquilifer third, close between them and behind them come Escheness and Kilbannon and then Party Politics. Then Cool Ground, then Boris Eber who's made quite good ground from the rear. Then comes on the twist, behind uh, on the twist towards his outside is the West Away. Kildimo is still the back marker. Carville's Hill is still the leader by six to eight lengths as they swing uphill and go out into the country for another circuit with Twin Oaks second and Aquilifer third and Escheness four, five, Party politics and six kill Bannon on the outside seven is Boris Eva and eight behind them cool ground a former winner and then on the twist getting a little bit closer all the time so they level up towards the next fence now this will be number 12 with Carville's Hill a long way clear comes to number 12 Well over it, 
From Aquila for second is Stable Companion. Eshenes for the Pittman Stable has moved into third. In fact, going up to be second. Then Party Politics, who's improved into fourth. The leader jumps the next, the third ditch. Clear of Eshenes, who's second. Third is Aquilifa. Four is Party Politics, being chased along now by Andrew Adams. Kildimo has been pulled up. Weenish has been pulled up. Eshenes is the one who's going strongest of the pursuers at the moment. Chief Ironside has pulled up as well, coming to the water. Is he getting tired? He jumped out a little bit tired, Carville's Hill. Eshenes is getting closer to him all the time. Aquilifa also. Twin Oaks has been pulled up. Party Politics is back in fourth. Bonanza Boy, the former winner, has moved into fifth place now as Carville Hills jumped that one clear of Eshenes. Aquilifer, Party Politics, and then Bonanza Boy. The old horse, 11 year old, still getting closer. But Carville Hill, the leader, right over on the far side now. He jumps that clearly, cool ground, and on the twist have pulled up in this rain softened ground. The West Awake has been pulled up as well. The field is thinning. All the time, Kilbannon is a faller, and Carville's Hill's the leader by about eight lengths from Eshenes, then comes Aquilifa, then Party Politics, and then Bonanza Boy, and it's hard to see anything else getting into the race now as they turn out of the top turn and make towards the home stretch with Carville's Hill, the clear leader from Eshenes, then comes Aquilifa, then Party Politics and Bonanza Boy, and only five left to jump. So, into the straight, Carville's Hill is clear of Eshenes. Then comes Aquilifa. Then Party Politics and Bonanza Boy. At the next, Carville's Hill lands clear. Eshenes only just coming to the fence. They're coming to the final ditch now. And Carville's Hill a long way clear. Four from home from Eshenes and Aquilifa and Party Politics. Four from home. Carville's Hill jumps it clear. A long, long way clear. Like an absolutely brilliant horse. He's only got to stand on his feet now as he comes down to the third last. Carville's Hill a long, long way clear. The rest virtually out of sight. Carville's Hill lands clear over the third last. Aquilifa is moving back into second. Party Politics is challenging Eshenes for third. The second last, Carville's Hill is well clear. Carville's Hill over it. He's got one fence now between him and victory and his stable companion is pursuing him. A qualifier, but he's just got to jump at Carville's Hill to become a red-hot favourite for the Gold Cup. Carville's Hill jumps it clear. He's won it. He's won it already. Racing up into second is going to be a qualifier as he jumps the fence. Party Politics third, but Bonanza Boy is finishing fast to try and make it a one, two, three. Getting a tremendous cheer is Carville's Hill, the winner of the Welsh, Carl Welsh National. A qualifier being pressed by Party Politics. It's going to be close for second. A qualifier and Party Politics in a photo. A qualifier's just second ahead of Party Politics. Bonanza Boy, he looks to me as though he may have finished a little sore his fourth. So... Martin Pipe, amazingly, has finished first, second and fourth in the Coral Welsh National, although it is close for second between Aquilifa and Party Politics. But Carville's Hill, the brilliant winner of the Coral Welsh National, his record now, run 23, won 16. And the result, first, number one, Carville's Hill, owned by Mr Paul Green, trained by... Martin Pipe and written by Peter Skudemore. It's a photo for second place, a photo between number five, a qualifier owned by Mr. Brown Kilpatrick, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Richard Dunwoody. And party politics, number six, owned by Mr. David Stoddart, trained by Nick Gaisley and written by Andrew Adams with fourth. The dual previous winner in the picture there, number three, Bonanza Boy. Yes, this was not good to soft, it was heavy, it was a real test of stamina. Three people own this, Paul Green, Liam Marks in Ireland, and Gordon Gray, who's up in Scotland today. This, funny enough, was his only really moderate jump. It's a pity, because it'll be replayed so many times, but at least he did 
pop up and, and get out of trouble. He's galloped them into the ground. It was a good decision to come here. His aim is the Cheltenham Gold Cup. He likes it left-handed, and he's galloped home strongly here. He's shown us now that he can stay 3-6. The last horse to win it under 11-12 was a Liminale, ridden by David Nicholson 30 years ago. But Carville's Hill has come home almost alone in the Coral Welsh National. Well, 